look over there. In front of me. That way. Look over there. There's Hollywood. My name is Gray Burton. It's 6 a.m. in North Hollywood. Now I'm on my way with this 360 cam to meet a group of people, some of whom will be meeting for the first time. And we're about to embark on a little bit of an adventure an experiment and hopefully an opportunity for them to share their dreams with you out there in the world. This is a 360 cam. It captures the whole circle of the environment and everything above and below. Basically everything to the point just under the camera. Yeah? And what we'll do is, well, we're going to experiment with it by telling stories and sharing with each other our experiences of Hollywood. I mean, mine are all of the last few days pretty much, but you guys have a lot more experience of it than me. And I'd like this to be about your stories. So people have used these kind of cameras before for things like um, sticking on top of a ski helmet and skiing down slopes. And it's only now that filmmakers are trying to experiment with creating um, storytelling exercises with them and, and making them relevant and sort of incorporating technology too. I'm hoping that today we treat this like a conch, yeah? Does everybody know what a conch is? Is that a shell? Yeah. Like uh, a... <laughs> speaking stick. Lord of the... Th yeah, speaking <laughs> stick. Yeah, that's another way. That's another way of looking at it. Um, so that the person who has the speaking stick, or the conch, um, gets to share their story, and we all get to, you know, listen and interact with it and participate, but the per person who's holding the conch is the focus of the story, basically, their own story. The stories that I've asked for are about you being in Hollywood and your experience of Hollywood. And yeah, let's see where that goes. We can ask each other questions. We can um, try out different things, you know. Uh, this is a grand experiment. Cool. It's the first time that I know of that anybody's done it. So I'm going to try it out, OK? So who wants to hold it first? Mid hole traps. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nice! Have you hit record? Yeah, awesome. that was on. <laughs> so one, yeah. thing that, one thing that does help is to try and keep it level so that the, Thank you. So okay. that the lenses stay level because it does still, because it does Wait, change angles little, like a camera too. I don't know if you yeah, that's on the... A little bit on the, on the piss. <laughs> it's alright! You're all right, mate. You're all right. <laughs> when did you come to? Uh, when did you come to LA? Uh, three weeks ago. Whoa. Yeah. So I'm pretty wow. fresh myself. Nice. Um, Thought so far. So far, it's. I like. Well, to be completely honest, like from hearing about LA from New Zealand. It feels very far away and kind of unachievable and everything. But being here, it's kind of just, you know, it's just me in a bigger place with more opportunities. And it's, you know, it's not really as big of a deal, which is cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm over on the J1 visa, which is like that one year working visa. Lucky. So yeah, so it means I can do other work at the same time as acting, which is cool. Did you 
you, so, is that because you studied in New Zealand, you just finished studying, so you got the visa to be able to go over? Um, yes, yeah, so you have one year to use it from your graduation of uni. Mm. Um, so um, so yeah. So. I don't think they had anything like that when I was at uni. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's quite new, but I don't think it's going to last long, actually. Is it just Australia and New Zealand? It was, Australia. Well, it was definitely around when I came over. I've been here five years. It was oh, wow. before I came around. But I didn't study. Me so. either. I was going to say. <laughs> 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 Damn. Nice. Yeah, you can't, like, even little courses, you can't use it. It has to be a proper degree. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So if I didn't come, if I wasn't in the country by June the 6th, it would have expired. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I kind of. You get a year from. From then, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, a year to work, and then you get a one month grace period to travel as well. And got ages left. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Were you scared? Not really. What? Um. No, because I've lived in Australia the last four years, so I've lived away from home. Um. So I wasn't. Out for the ship. <laughs> 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 Lovely. Yeah. Another general rule, yeah, Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, find a lot of it. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like coming over, it didn't really feel like it was happening. Like, I still feel like I'm on holiday a little bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. It'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably will. It'll be brand new, so. Yeah. Where about you, Louis? Um, I'm living with Jen, because uh, I already knew her back in New Zealand, yeah. um, in West Hollywood, which is pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and um, I've, we've done a bit of like tripping up and down the coast too, which has been cool to yeah. see California, yeah. Is it incredible? Yeah. How far did you go up? Did you go up um, I went, yeah, I went oh, to San Fran yeah. with oh, these wow. guys, and I went down, woohoo. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then I went down to San Diego with a few other friends as well. Oh, wow. San Diego is my favourite spot. Yeah, so awesome. So beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And like all the little beach towns along the way, yeah. like San Clemente and um, yeah. yeah, and Encinitas <laughs> is my favourite. Um, I have done surfing, but I didn't on this trip. So are you going to be re are you represented here or? Uh, not yet. Yeah. I've got representation back home and in Australia. Yeah. So they're probably going to help set me up with someone here. Yeah, sure. Eventually. Um, but yeah, no, just find my own stuff in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. And get a job. What's been your most um, most American experience as being <laughs> most American <laughs> experience? Um, oh. I think it's just the people. Yeah. Um, the American people. Being in Venice, actually, that was like quite a culture shock. You know, <laughs> seeing you know if that was the first place yeah. I'd gone, I would have um, been like, <laughs> where the <laughs> hell am I? Yeah. Yeah, um, it was scary at first, right? Yeah. But this is cool though, because there's so many different types of people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um you know, I think the only the most American thing would be the people and them not knowing about New Zealand. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. We're quite insignificant in comparison, right. which is I got, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I remember getting asked when I first came out here. Um how long it took to drive from New Zealand? Oh yeah, I got the bridge question the other day. What? Oh, there's not a bridge. Oh, oh. Um, I take the view in a little bit. It's a beautiful time know. of day, right? Yeah, right. I mean, just look at this. Is that oh, oh, goddamn magnificent? Is that? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> What's your name again? Ari. 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 Ari.
Oh, really? actually, I saw a snake in Venice around someone's neck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, that's Always. Venice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of different when you walk around a corner yeah. on a trail and you're like, oh, hi, snake. I'm going to go this way now. Yeah. <laughs> you don't walk. You like no, you know what? You, you stay there. It's fine. You stay. Yeah, snake, that's your territory. We're good. Okay. Um, oh, I came... So, back to your question. I, I, I moved out here five years ago, uh -huh. but like 18 months or two years before that, I came out and studied in New York at the Neighbourhood Playhouse nice. and um, then on the way back through, because I studied with Michael Sassente back in New Zealand, yeah. uh, old, old Sassente. Yeah, um, yeah. But you've pretty much cut your teeth on TV, TV to begin with. Yeah, in New Zealand, yeah. yeah. Um, you come back home? Oh, shorty oh, and then... Um, everyone hesitates. Yeah. Oh, shorty. <laughs> Everybody hesitates no, when they say. It's so funny. Shortland, yeah. Know, we all, we all, I remember we're saying. Shortland. I remember saying before going on Shortland Street. I was like, duh. Oh, I'd never do Shortland Street. Oh. <laughs> and then they go, oh, here's a contract, and you go. Oh yeah. Okay, consistent yeah. work. You can but tell Ari's one of the more successful ones because unlike me, he only played one character for like seven, <laughs> twelve years. <laughs> Three days of the time. But to be to be totally honest, Shortland Street was was incredible and an amazing learning experience because the workload that you're dealing with it yeah. make, it forces you to. You can't be a lazy actor because if you're a lazy actor on that show, you look horrible. Right. Yeah. You look yeah. absolutely terrible. Because script on you like overnight and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. Totally. Even the relationships you made probably, even just moving out here, knowing a lot of those people. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so before that, like Shorty Street, and then like did Go Girls before that, and then did Power Rangers, and I, but I, I booked Ooh. a role in a TV show when I was like ten. Oh, the yeah. Tribe. Oh, uh, yeah. So that was like. Yeah. Those guys, yeah, Amelia, um, Amelia uh, Reynolds. Yeah. yeah, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, um, so that that like spouted an entire generation of actors in New Zealand. That was like Antonia yeah. Pribble, Beth Allen. Right. Um, Watch out for poos. <laughs> oh, they're all dry, mate. Straight through it, brother. Yeah, it's just grass. The, um, the viewers of us going, poos, watch out for the poos! <laughs> the horse trail. <laughs> there's, a horse, shit. there's a horse ranch like right down there. Yeah. yeah. One of these houses around here, I think it's over that one, uh, the dude who directed Grease lives there. Oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so where were we? Five years ago, came over. Yeah, but then I, I came through, after I studied in New York, I came back through here and took meetings. Um, my reps back home set up. Some meetings and it was kind of overwhelming and a flurry. Like I had like t like ten meetings in like four days. It was really really intense, and kind of pushed me back off it and was like, well, that was really intense. If something pulls me out here, I'll come, but I don't want to move out here to chase it because I just felt like there was more stuff to do that I had to do back home. Yeah. Um, and then two years later, I I got somebody that I'd worked on a show with back in New Zealand wrote this film and basically cast entirely New Zealanders, oh, wow. they're Americans, um, they brought us all out here, it got us work visas oh, wow. and then we uh, made a movie and then stayed out here and what was that kept movie? Blood Punch. Blood Punch? Ah. Yeah, um, so it has Olivia, Caw oh, Olivia Tennant, Mila Cawthorn, myself, Colin Holloway, um, uh, Mike Jin. Um, there's also another guy who's been out here for a while. Mike. Uh, Mike Jin. Yeah, he yeah. looked after me. He helped me buy my car. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, when I first got here. When you first got here. Yeah. Let's check, check the video. Yeah. Five minutes. Got still got another four minutes or so. Sweet as. I think that's the gr that's the best thing about coming out here is. Um, there's really over, I mean, I can only say since I've been here, there's been a massive growth of New Zealanders, like yeah. a small New Zealand community that have been made, have made it possible for a safe, like a, a comfortable landing in Los Angeles. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. I remember like people that came over much earlier on were, were much more on their own from what mm. I've heard. Um, and now there's a huge amount of support from like the Consul General and the New Zealand Film Commission and just it's a it's a much more attainable goal so there's more people doing it so 
Yeah. And just transfer. the ground here, uh, they are becoming ambassadors. And Absolutely, and yeah. And things like right. that. Yeah. People coming over. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're bound to know someone or have a mutual friend. Exactly. Yeah. She's had like a, she's had the same ring controlled apartment since like the 80s when she first came over here, or like the early 90s. She's paying like something ridiculous and just has like an incredible place. Wow. If you can get a ring controlled apartment in Los Angeles, rule number one take it. <laughs> so, Big time. Ari. How did you feel about coming into this huge pond, you know, out of New Zealand, I mean? <coughs> um, even into the safe environment of having that film that was in yeah. production. I came over here because I'd kind of, because I'd come over here before, I feel like I came over here preparing myself for things to be hard. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> when I came back afterwards, came back. We, after we shot Blood Punch, because yeah. I was like, I kind of was, I was kind of bracing myself for things to be difficult and for it to take a while and to just kind of battle through, yeah. um, which was really good because there is there is like a lot of hardship about it and you've got to have a lot of grit and and um, stamina to keep on going. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, you gotta you gotta hold on to that dream and and just keep pushing towards it because you you can't you, you can let it you can let it get beaten out of you by how much by the overwhelmingness of how big everything is. Yeah. Um, that's why it's so good and we're so lucky to be able to go back to New Zealand and kind of get a little reboot right. of motivation totally. every time and re recognise why you're doing it and what you're over here trying to do, and that you're not chasing a pipe dream. Like you actually come from a place with, like a community of people and, and good work, and you know, you know, but go back to your roots, right. and you're like, yeah. we go, we can do this. And this uh, I think the other thing that's happening now is we can actually come over with confidence yeah, that our talent just, is enough. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We're, we're on the map <laughs> as well. Like people know about New Zealanders. Yeah, a lot more. When, yeah. the, when the last generation <laughs> of actors were the first ones coming over here. Yeah, it's been so difficult. Yeah. And you have to have such grit and resolve yeah. right. to hang in. Yeah. With I, people who have gone who had gone through studio systems, second generation actors. Yeah. yeah. I had a uh, I had a chat with Dino Gorman one time when he was over here. Yeah. And it was the first time that he'd come back. It was after after Lord of the Rings. We went out, there's a whole big group of us having having dinner. And it was like, so what's it like to come back? Because he hadn't been back in a long, long time. So we go out this way. Yeah. Um yeah, he hadn't he hadn't come back for a long time, and I was like, "So what's it like?" Like, yeah. yeah. Enjoy your walk. That's so sweet. Yeah, like it never happened. Um, so we went out to dinner, and, and I had a chat with Dean, and I was like, "What's it like coming back here?" And he's like, "It's like coming back to a restaurant that you got food poisoning at." <laughs> like you're trying to enjoy it, but there's this thing in the back of your mind that's going, ah, yeah. this fucked you up before. Yeah. This really destroyed you. Yeah, that's, that's cute. Um, so that was a, that was a really interesting perspective, and I was, you know, still pretty fresh at that stage as well. So I was like, oh, okay, all right, so go forward with caution, but be good. Like you'll be right. I thought that was a good piece of advice. Nice one. Or a good perspective. I think that's a good place to hand over. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> do me. Look at the little baby yeah, horse. Right? Yeah, and the one down yeah. there as well. So oh, yeah. this, this road just keeps on going around. Yeah. But then once we get around this corner and cut back around, then we go up and actually end up there. Because yeah. you go, okay, you go and back. You up, you go up to the Yeah, side. I found a different track as well. Yeah. 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 It's awesome because the other, cause once, right. you go, once you go around and up, you end up looking into the valley. You're going yeah. over here. Right. <laughs> Good. I'm over here. I'm in the back. Okay. <laughs> Good work, team. Backside. Good job. So you're up, mate. So I moved here in September 2014, right, yeah, um, oh, nice. about two years ago, um, and I moved out here to study. I've just finished at Lee Strasberg um, and had the best two years of my life there, probably. Mm -hmm. Do you know um, Gabrielle and Naomi? Yeah. Oh, small world. She's not even a Kiwi. No, oh, no, she did live in New Zealand. She did live in New Zealand. Right, is that how you know her? Such yeah. a Kiwi thing to do. Oh, do you know? Oh, bro, yeah, I know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Twice We're cousins. <laughs>
<laughs> that's such that's a cool thing about being here is you meet a Kiwi and you're gonna know them or know a friend. Yeah. Um it's just it's just part of it, but eh? Is that how small the community is? It really is. You're gonna know someone of someone, I yeah, swear. Yeah. yeah. It's no. Is it, uh, there's like what, four million New Zealanders now, four point yeah. seven? No. Yeah. Yeah. Just living in New Zealand though. There's something yeah. like five million New Zealanders. Yeah. But, but just like, living in New Zealand. A fifth of our population is just like around the world. Yeah, <laughs> so cool. Yeah, wow. The uncanny yeah. thing is you could be somewhere over the other side of the world and in conversation with someone, you go, oh, I know that fella. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, no lad meeting too... someone and shaking like Facebook <laughs> mutual friends. The Kiwi neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the neck. That's so real. Yeah, what's my neck? I'm related to you. Yeah. <laughs> That's my neck. I think that's the cool thing about moving here, though, is that, um, you know, I came out here and I did know a couple of Kiwis, um, and they were kind of, you know, my friends for the first little while, because I find them a bit more normal than Americans. No offence. <laughs> no joking. Okay. Um, no, I've met some really cool American people, too, but I think it was just nice, a nice trend. <laughs> <laughs> nice Americans. Uh, nice Americans. I think it was just a nice transition, like coming over here and yeah. knowing some Kiwis. Um, Makes you feel more comfortable. Right? Exactly. Yeah, I was young when I moved over and sort of move here and Were you be alone. I was scared. I sat in my room crying for the first five days. I was so like, it was completely overwhelming because I'd mean I'd finished high school, I'd worked for like a year and a half, and then I moved out here. Um, and I think it was. It was a bit kind of. You know, there's days where I'm like, what am I doing here? But then you just remind yourself why you're here and what you're doing. And I why think are you here? Why am I here? Because yeah. I want to act. I love acting and it's the place to be and it's, um, it's the heart of it. Right. And yeah, the networking's great. And I've just met, I've met some really cool people here and Americans love too? the weather. Not Americans, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> no. Americans are just dicks. I... Americans are great. I apologize. <laughs> no, it's okay. I forgive you. You're good with your signage. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys have a thing about writing, writing shit on the sides of hills. It's a big thing in Burbank. Like, see, that's for the stupid people. Yeah. Where am I? Landmarks. Hey, when you're on oh, the big B. The planes to navigate. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't actually hit the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. For Americans. So, have you got, are you a citizen? Yeah? No, I'm not. So, I'm, I was actually, I moved here when I was six weeks old. Um, which is a pain because I wasn't born here. Right. Um, but no, I've been out here on a student visa and I'm going to be transitioning visas uh, come September. So I've got to go home in October and like um, Ari was saying, like it's a good time to kind of regroup and like figure everything out again and yeah. like, you know, remember why you're doing it and what you're doing it for. And I'll get back here. I'm not sure when, but I will be back hopefully sooner rather than later. So. We will see. We're we'll back in 2017, don't worry. Exactly. Oh, back. On I'm on a student visa at the moment. Right. Yeah, transitioning to an O1, so. Oh gosh, yeah. yeah. All that fun. Maybe not those. Yeah. <laughs> All that paperwork's is really it, good. Is that quite the palaver? Is it? It's quite. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. You've got a. Um, yeah, you have to. I mean, the technical definition of the visa is alien of extraordinary ability in the arts or science. So right. the onus is on you to show that you are an alien of extraordinary ability. So you have to, like, submit press packages, all the things you've done. Like, you've got to make your case that it's worth the American government bringing you over to do jobs that, right. they, would, that they could, give could Americans. get to Americans. Right. Mm. Mm. Um, That's the thing, the package is like this huge. I went and met with a lawyer and it's like, yeah. really? Yeah, it's like 150 pages. Yeah. Page yeah. By the end of it. yeah. It's ridiculous. But I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm realistic that I'll have to go home for a little while and hopefully do some work back home and then make my way back here. But I'm just starting the process. And Where's home it. in New Zealand? Auckland. Right. Auckland, New Zealand. Um, so I've spent most of my life there. All of it, except when I moved out here. So it's not a bad place. I like well, it. I went away from Auckland myself cause, and stopped acting in um, TV and film for about nine years. Oh wow! Um, and that was real transition right. time. But when I went back, I was a fresh face again. So interesting. Interesting. Yeah. With all that experience. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How and, interesting. And so when I went back, the my agent. Mm -hmm. I, I was auditioning solidly for the first month just to get in front of people so yeah. that they could work out where I fit. In, in New Zealand, you mean, yeah. Yeah. And so you've got representation in Auckland? I don't. I left them before I moved out here, actually. Right. Um, but I do. I've got a manager here. So that's something yes. I'm... Right. I'm in contact with a couple back home, but... And self-taping is so big now Right. Well. Yeah. Right. Uh, over there. I mean, in right. the last two years. Um, so this is the, so much more work. The crazy thing is it's like you don't... With technology being the way that it is, you almost don't have to be here. Obviously, it's better to be on the ground and then you're here if they form the relationships and you actually meet people in the room, mm -hmm. and that's really how things get going. 
But if you're going just off the work, which, little secret, it's not always the thing that gets you the job. <laughs> um, just off that, you can submit self-tapes and, right. and get whatever. Mm -hmm. And then fly over if you need to. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting, eh? Yeah, that's why, because I teach self-taping sometimes. Oh, cool. Um, it, the one thing I always say is, before you accept the audition, mm -hmm. you have to be totally committed to travelling, to, you know, to jumping on the plane. Right, at the moment, right. And, be, yeah. and have the resources to be able to do that, right. if you're going to be away. And mm -hmm. the alternative is, be here. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't necessarily mean there's more access. No. 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 <laughs> but you've already shown the commitment. Yes. First thing. Exactly. If you're here, right. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. It's an interesting thing. It's also funny that it's like it's clear that that just being here also isn't like that's your buy-in, but that's mm. not that's not all you need to do. Like well, it's, yeah, just it's just being here and sitting here waiting for shit to happen doesn't. Well, it doesn't come to you, you've got to work for the work. Because huh? <laughs> there's so many people yeah. here trying to do the same thing, so oh, it's really, the it's yeah. the hustle. The hustle, hustle, hustle. Yeah. And make your own work. Exactly. exactly, it's so important. Which is something that, I'm, like, we're so lucky to have gotten used to doing so much in New Zealand, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. Right. It's it's right. natural, yeah. A natural inclination is to make stuff where there are voids. Yeah. Well, it makes sense, because then you're not sitting around just, you know, you're, you're doing something and learning and... See, a lot of Americans feel that we're entitled to shit. Yeah. So they don't have Americans. to really work hard. Yeah. yeah. This way, seriously? Yep. Oh, lovely. Oh, nice little hill. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Well, I don't know if shade here, but <laughs> we'll work with that. that? We'll work with oh, that. Okay. So we can go to the path, or we can go... But yeah, you, you know, you working hard is wow. always the, the biggest issue. You know? Right, I think with anything, though. Yeah, no matter what. Man. You know, if, if you work hard and you have the passion for it, I think you're going to do really well and go far. Right. Yeah. It's also knowing right. what to work hard on because there's only so many True. things that you have control over right. that you can do. Yeah. And putting your energy in something that's not going right. to benefit you is right. useless. <laughs> you can't be like on your phone to your agent and manager all the time and be like, oh, how was that audition? Can you put me on the phone with the cast? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. Like that <laughs> is almost going to work against you. Mm -hmm. It's like you almost kind of need to set all that stuff up. Yeah do all the work that you need to do and then allow it to just kind of be right. and then maintain staying busy and right. doing your own work right. and all that kind of stuff. And it only adds to them wanting to work for you because if, if you're doing stuff, they're like, oh, this person's serious because there's so many people out here that are just kind of like, I'm going to go to LA. I know, yeah, exactly. Movies, it's going to be <laughs> awesome. Hey, and then they don't do anything. Yeah. 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 A lot yeah. of advice I've had from people in like Uber pool. Oh yeah, they get they've all into it. that like, Everyone will stay here to be an actor for six months to a year and then they'll leave and give up. And everyone's just been telling me, they're just like, just stay, just stick yeah. with it yeah. and Absolutely. you'll be Absolutely. surprised. Like, if yep. you actually yeah. just want it, you'll eventually you'll get there. It's like, well, I think, time yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. It'll fall into place. Yeah. Like I said, you just have to have the passion. Yeah, exactly. and, and the determination. Like, I think most of the, like, the most successful actors are the ones that haven't given up after... A year or two or ten years, you know, they keep going and because yeah. they know they want it and they love it and they keep well, doing there's it. There's no other option. I know. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, that's what so much time. You, you, you ask right. yourself, don't you? You go inside and go, what else? Can, what else would I love doing? Right, that's the thing. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> and if it's yeah, and then when you realise there's nothing there, yeah. <laughs> <you're> like, <laughs> yeah it's got a, the, well, I guess I'm in for the long haul. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Skater, it, it, it's, it's good because like, it's, I, I'm always filmed on a video camera on my skateboard. Uh -huh. So I'm not shy in front of the camera. Right. And a lot of my friends told me stuff, so I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> and here I am, you know. That's how you started? Exactly, cool. exactly. On that note, let's see how we're going with this. Pass the bashin. I feel the love, I feel the love. Calling me an old man. I can't even put a monitor on it. I haven't shown you guys that. Oh, is it? Uh, do you have wire? Is it, is it Wi-Fi? It's Bluetooth. Okay, yeah. So you should be able to have a screen, or, or at least a player or something, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Totally. Have a look. Can I take a picture? Oh no, we're oh. good. It's a 360 okay. camera. Oh, Thank you. Thanks, Thanks bro. We're, taking, yeah. we're already taking one. Of you. I like your hat. Thank you very much. I like your smile. Hey. <laughs> You're fucking sexy, bro. Oh. Enjoy yourself. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. By the way, guys, I'm I'm very uh, blunt and I'm honest, so. <laughs> it was good. Oh, wow. But I'm straight. No. So there you go. Oh wow. Oh, that's, wait, wait, wait. Ah, wow. that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, that's so it's both so screens, so and cool. they and it, it it shows it like that there. Yeah. But it actually is knitted together Flat, yeah. already when it yeah. stops and the video. Yeah. Like someone's around. Can you yeah. take photos yeah. on it as well? Yeah. You can take photos on it too, yeah. Like full. Awesome. That's, That's pretty rad. That's so, incredible. Blur and uh, handheld yeah. Movie. Yeah. Do you know what the Movie is? Okay. There, there's insane rigs that you, like you just hold and you yeah. can just run around and, and it will just stabilize and it's perfect. It's, it's, they're just that's the most so incredible wow. things. That's pretty rad. So they've got one that's just a little handheld one that's a that's like a ball and a gyroscope know, that goes right. around uh, and you can right. just click your phone into it. So it's just and a little handheld one and it's a, and it's like a mobile. You can so just cool. run like crazy and it just sta it stabilizes huh? perfectly. Oh, and, yeah. that's so and is it 1080p or? Yeah. Uh, 4K? Yeah, I don't know. Like but, it's super. But it's, it's everything HD. you need. Yeah. 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 It's the best. That's that sounds awesome. But yeah. You've been around the block, mate. If you're 37. Yeah, well, <laughs> I've been around the block. I've seen many things. Yes, yes, I have. And I mean, I, it's it's funny because about a year and a half ago, I was doing a charity stream. Uh, I don't know. Have you guys know what a stream is? Like a like, live. Stream? Yes. Yeah, like a live. Yeah. But it was for video games, because I'm Asian and I'm a gamer. So, it was a guy named Greg Grumberg. I don't know if you guys heard of him. Nope. He's, uh, he's on Heroes. Have you ever seen the TV show Heroes? Yeah. Hey, he's Matt. Matt Pickens or something like that. He's the cop. He's the cop. Oh, yeah. 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 So, it was, for, it was his charity event. So, I got in touch with him and we started talking and hanging out. He was just telling me, hey, you should try out and do something with acting. I'm like, well, I'm a professional skateboarder, bro. I don't think anyone would really need my talent. What do I have to give to the world? You know, exactly. <laughs> I ride a skateboard, and I do good, and it's about it. But uh, he was just telling me that I had such a good uh, personality, and I had this exotic look. So, Hawaiian. well, you know, I lived in Hawaii, though. I did, so I kind of had that trait. But I am Japanese, Portuguese, and German. So... Yeah, I can see the German. <laughs> see Kyle, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just kidding. <laughs> jokes, seriously, jokes. I don't even like my German side. I'm Get rid of that. Yeah, true. What you? True. What were you saying? I'm sorry? I think I've, like, my ancestors are German as well. Oh. Probably I've got them from everywhere, but German yeah. different. Yeah, yeah. Wait, do you have good stuff? Oh, hey, nice. Awesome. <laughs> I'll kill people that don't hire you. How about that? Is that good? Yeah, no. <laughs> but yeah, so I've been, uh, I've been, extra, uh, I've been an extra for a few shows. Um, filming a, like a mini movie trailer next week out in New Mexico. Skateboarding in it? Or no, no, no. <laughs> Trying to act. No. Without the skateboard. <laughs> Without the skateboard, that is correct. <laughs> However, I am going to ask if I can have my skateboard there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you could take it. I don't think I could. <laughs> I hope so, though. I hope so. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, you know, I'm, I'm doing this just to have fun. And I, I don't want to work at it. I want to kind of get in a different world other than skateboarding. I mean, I could do a 9 to 5. That's no fun. You know, it's... I, that's definitely one thing that I've realized about being over here and living this lifestyle is it's very spoiling. Like, you have a lot of free time uh, and you can kind of just do whatever you want. It's very easy to... To, well, you could be lazy. If you, you could be you, lazy. You could. Be lazy. Very yeah. easily. Absolutely. So you've got to have like st some kind of structure is so important. Otherwise, yeah, you can just kind yeah. of. Exactly, and that's the reason why I said earlier, Americans feel like you know they they're they're entitled to shit. Like anyone in L.A. that wants to be a an actor, or actress, they just feel like oh well, I could do it no problem. You need to give me the job. It's like, dude, seriously, like, you suck. Like, I'm better than you. And I don't even act. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, this is into the valley. So you got like one of those and stuff over here. Oh, nice. 
I'm sweating like a fucking pig over here. I hate this hike. Good man, it's glisten. It's a glisten. It's a glisten. <laughs> It's You're so beautiful, I love you, thanks. <laughs> Good stuff up here, have a look yeah. on the stuff. Ah. I mean, the thing that really got me coming here six days ago was you just don't understand the scale. Yeah, yeah. Until you arrive. I mean, yeah. I, I thought Auckland was big when I moved here <laughs> back in the 90s. Right. And, I mean, it's not even a tenth the size yeah. of LA. I mean, that's, that's, yeah. a, that's a whole country over there. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, because it keeps on going and going. You can't see it because of the clouds, but yeah. So LA, like LA County is like 12 million people or something. It's ridiculous. Right? Yeah. And the county is just one giant city. Yeah. Like, it's just, it doesn't stop. Like, there's small pockets of, like, oil fields, but other than that, it's just city. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like three times the population of New Zealand. It's the second uh, largest county in California, I think. What's the oh, largest? Um, I want to say San Bernardino. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, the Inland Empire. Sa yeah, Inland Empire, San Bernardino, goes all the way out towards uh, Vegas. Okay. Oh, Stops, right. like, right on the border of Vegas. Right. It's crazy. But that place sucks, too. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere in California sucks. I mean, I just, you, and you get this feeling, like, I get this feeling when you look over there to the, to those mountains, and you go over those mountains, look, there's bigger mountains over those, yeah. and right. if you go over those, God, they just keep going and going and going, and yeah. endless possibilities, I mean, yeah. Yep. In New Zealand, you go over those mountains, and there's a bigger mountain. You go over those mountains, you're on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> there's an ocean. Nice. You got nowhere else to go. That's beautiful. It's funny because a lot of people would find that would find that isolating, but there's something so like comforting about that. And I don't know if it's probably because we grew up we grew up like that, but the idea of this, like the open space, like we would open for drives through the desert, and we shot some stuff out in Death Valley, and it's like. You're just looking at the scale of things and you're like, this is, you yeah. almost feel agoraphobic, like this is too much, oh, yeah. like, yeah, I, I need like to get into a small like room. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I actually freaked out yesterday yeah? when I, I had to go and see a client out in the desert and that was dry. Yeah. Oh shit. And I was just in, I, I'm just in the middle of the desert with an Uber driver and I thought, if you drop me off, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> There's no cell phone reception here, I'm right, getting an right. Uber back. Right, right, out the car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, and I, I had a bit of a freak out. Yeah, yeah right. Seriously. Right. But, uh, and I pretty much came back as soon as I could. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. You know, but small steps. It's small steps. Yeah. No, no, no. You, I feel the same way because if I go somewhere that has no Wi Fi, no cell phone, or anything like that, I'd shit bricks too. Just you know, it, yeah, it's just, it's just a scary thing. And especially being, you know, out, new to the country, you're like, oh shit, that's even worse. So don't you worry, you're not alone. Breathe through the lack of technology and then be like, oh, yeah. I'm a human. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I this is fine. Yeah. yeah, I don't need this. Have you guys ever like got your phone lost or wet and oh, got yeah. destroyed? And yeah. didn't you feel like super naked? Yeah. Like yeah. without yeah. your phone, you like, dude. Naked, yeah. yeah, you do. It's horrible. Somebody said I was watching a thing on a documentary about uh, was it Snowden? Yeah, Snowden. They said, they said um, what he was saying is that it used to be that a man's home is his castle, but that's not true at all anymore. A no. man's phone is his castle. castle. Yeah. Absolutely. Like everything, yeah. your entire world awesome. is on there. Yeah. Yeah. And once that's gone, which is so sad. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. Yeah. It is. It's gnarly that technology took over that quick. You know what I mean? You I just mean, couldn't live without. That'd be so hard. Yeah. So you guys are young. See, my back in my days, you know how it was. We had no. Yeah. No cell phones. Smoke yeah. signal. I remember, yeah. I remember what that was like. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Dead serious. We used to do that down the ghetto. It was amazing. Like, cool, cool, cool. I'm coming. See, they even turned around. Yeah, they turned around when I did that shit. See, they know. Yeah. Uh, I'll go on this side, this side. I'm gonna walk up my hand. <laughs> I got this, guys. Don't worry. Okay. I'll meet you at the top. Are well, you going there? Yeah. Okay. How much? So, how much food? Just around the corner. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, it's yeah. not around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that easy. It's not that far. The corner, the corner, the corner goes for 17 miles. It's about three miles. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was like it's kind of misty out there. No, it's not mist. It's actually uh, smog? heli smog. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's so magical. Oh, it's <laughs> no, 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 you look towards this area, you see like gray, it's black, just, and brown. Yeah, it's just yeah. brown. Like yeah, brown it's gnarly. The sky. That's oh, a shame. But, but up here, here it looks beautiful. It. <laughs> it does look you beautiful. You can breathe fresh air again. Yeah. Hey? No, we're not. No, we're still dying here. <laughs> Do you guys smoke? 
No, no. no. Now. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. true. Hey, Rebecca, have you been here a year yet? I've been here since October 2014. Oh, wow. Oh, right. So, it's almost so yeah. almost. God, and I've seen you twice. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Yeah. All it's a the big time. place. It's a really big place, yeah. So, um, <laughs> over a year and a half already. It's just like that. Wow. wow. And how's it been breaking in? Um, breaking in. Is it, is it breaking in? Do you, do you literally have to break the door down? Or? I think so. When you start, when casting directors start to remember you, I think that feels like you're starting to become part of the, the world and part of the community. And I feel like I really only broke in last week actually <laughs> because yeah. I had a, um, a small role in a TV show here. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. You can Thank give you. it a plug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a lifetime show, um, oh, awesome. which is uh, an, a channel here, and um, it's called Battle of the Sexes. And oh, I, I um, have a one of the guest star roles for the episode. Oh, <laughs> I play an American. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome! Yeah. That is rad. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I will allow it! I love how he turns and looks at me like, dude. Uh, <laughs> we get it. No! I'm coming it. for That's you. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Stuck at it and then. Yeah. Now give me, give me your American accent. <laughs> Uh, well, usually I warm up a little bit because I feel like my tongue gets really lazy <laughs> when <laughs> when I'm speaking. I, I yeah. <laughs> no, that was beautiful. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, really. Go through it, right? Right. For sure. Well, right. Literally. <laughs> One thing I did notice when you were just speaking before was you can start you start to hear the American. Accent, accent coming into the New yeah. Zealand accent. Yeah. Have you actually noticed that yourself? I have. Like yeah. the in terms of the inflection and yeah, the, but the also rhythm. In the R as well. You, yes. You well, I was born it. in the States, so I feel like I always rolled my R's a little bit. Oh right. Okay. And that's how I'm able to be here, is because um, I was born born here, so I have an American passport. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So do you yeah. think you'll stay here for a while? Like, for good? Yeah, but the more I'm here, the more I appreciate New Zealand as well. Oh, yeah. Same. <laughs> the people, uh -huh. the productions, like when I went to see um, Hunt for the Wilder People a couple of nights ago, I was just, it reminded me of everything I love about New yeah. Zealand and, and, and its like inhabitants. Even, like, but, you know, like, yeah, it was just like so special. That's cool. New Zealand will always be there. You can pop home and see her, and then yeah. your family's there. Yeah. There's a, actually an amazing song. I remember listening to this so much before I left New Zealand. Fly My Pretties by Fly My Pretties. Yeah. Yes. Isn't that a song? No. It's like, an ex, it was like word for word. I was like, ah, oh, this is what I gotta do. It's like, um, <laughs> uh, fly away, I hope to see you back someday. Like, the, oh, but really? the song's about Wellington and about how there's so much creativity in New Zealand, yeah. but you're limited by the opportunities. Yeah. So it's okay to go fly away. You've got to go travel the world. You've got to go wow. do that stuff, but come back home. Yeah. yeah. So that was like my cool. song before coming over here. That's so cool. I definitely want to settle there someday. I love New Zealand. Yeah. Pretty cool place. Yeah. And it's so, isn't it so nice to know that we have New Zealand and there, sure. supporting yeah. us and there. And it's, they say, sorry, if you want to make an impact on like something you need to go outside of it first so like yeah. if you want to like, mm -hmm. right. do something with New Zealand you need to go outside of New Zealand if you want to do something to the world you have to go like out globally wow know? and that's like, what feels like so much is what is happening here I mean all of the New Zealanders over here that I know every everybody's intention is to be able to go back to New Zealand to create the work that they want to do right yeah but you have to come here to get the financial freedom to be able to do that right because unfortunately you can't make a consistent living as an actor in New Zealand. It's, like, no. it's just impossible, you can't do it. Not right now, so anyway. People, yeah. wanna, people want to develop themselves creatively and experientially to come back to New Zealand to then be able to make the industry much better right. and much stronger and create more work. Which is so cool. Yeah. Because it's all yeah. It's just like a whole new generation of people coming up and just doing... Doing your own stuff. Yeah. yeah. And now with the ability to be able to do it, with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right.
so and formats are changing. There's so much more opportunity. Things yeah. like 360 cam. Right. Yeah. And I mean, the way we're using it is, you know, hopefully expanding on people's idea of the culture of communication. But we're going back with dancers, yeah. Yeah. And putting one of these cameras in the middle of a room, wow, yeah. and then saying, "What does that do to choreography if your audience is oh, in the yeah. centre of the room?" Oh. Right. You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Not in the centre of the, but not not even on the floor, you know. In the centre of space. Yeah. Did you wow. did you hear about a play in New Zealand that was done? It was like five years ago called 360. 360. Yeah. No, yeah. I've been, we've been talking about it. <coughs> Yeah, it's, it's a it's a ring stage and yeah. the audience is in the middle on swivel chairs. Oh my god! And the whole so thing cool. just takes place around them. Around. That is so cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's Ben Crowder. Ben, yeah, Ben Crowder. Yeah. Uh, it was one of the creators. That's really cool. We're actually probably going to use the 360 camera. Hey. Cover. Hey. So awesome. guys, how you guys doing? Good, thanks, man. Yeah, it sounds perfect, like exactly what you'd want to use it for. <laughs> yeah, that is not true. That's why I did not say that. <laughs> Don't worry, down is much easier. Oh my god. It's, so it's like Last of the Mohicans up in here. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like Laura? Yeah. 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 Laura, got a new routine now. Yes. Every day? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe this is a good opportunity for you guys to start something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 That'd be real cool. Totally. Kiwi's here for a little hike once a week. We'll call it the Grey Wall. Yeah. yeah. The Grey Wall. <laughs> in, memory, <laughs> in, in memory of Grey. Wait, when you, when you yeah. die. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. He's Kiwi now? <laughs> Sorry. It's, it just comes with the territory. You're a cat. Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> no, I'm there's totally going to do that. That'd be so there's cool. a hike that you can do one of the cell phone towers up here. Oh, wow. That you start in Burbank at the back, like up by the golf course. Yeah. And you walk all the way up. It is the gnarliest trail. Oh my god. You're like, Did you do it? super, yeah, it's like asshole. super steep and like nuts. this. <laughs> it's insane. It's really crazy. Are you exhausted? I haven't done that either. You can't do that in the middle, in summer. You can't. You can't. Yeah. It's way too hot. There's just no way. It takes, yeah. it takes like an hour and a half to get to the top. Yeah. No one wow. Just, there's no shade. There's none of this. Like, yeah. 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 Y
that's definitely yeah. Um, one isn't... thing, one thing that was a really interesting learning experience that is what we were talking about before is the difference between what an agent and a manager is right. because you have to yeah. learn it coming out here. Right. Because back home, your agent do does everything yeah. and yeah. totally they get ten percent and that's just I the way know. it is. And out Poor here, Kiwi you have to have separate. You have a manager. It's a loud drone. No, that's, that's not a drone. drone. No, that's not a drone. That's, that's a speaker against... to probably stop people recording shit out there. <laughs> do you think? Or it's like a, there's a coyote, run. Oh my god. It's a bear! This turns into a horror film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is a horror play. film. <laughs> Look! Oh, wow. It's the Hollywood yeah. sign! Oh my god. <laughs> That's not how you see it so little from everywhere, and then you come out and you're above it. That's, That's amazing. Like, That's Hollywood Lake, I think. That's beautiful. It's well maintained, isn't it? Yeah. God, I'd love to sit on that. Yeah, yeah, just jump over and walk in. Apparently, yeah, they've sectioned it off because people took commit work out of it. On oh. the Hollywood side? Yeah. 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 How? That's Is it that high? Ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're both. Just climb up. <laughs> How and why? No. There we go. Hey. Fuck my life. And now we're going to take the Hollywood sign down. Awesome. Yeah. But yeah. they, yeah. like, I think it was Hugh Hefner brought the property or something. Oh, something like that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So they could afford to keep it. Yeah. It was a, there's, we pointed out as we go past it, there's a realty company down on Beechwood called uh, Hollywood Land Realty. And it used to say Hollywood Land. That's what I was gonna, about to say, Hollywood it Land. Like, yeah. It looks better, Hollywood. Yeah. Well, shall we, um, yeah, we can actually, like, if you go up here. It's the view's well, cool up there. And you can, when you're on top, you can get full 360 of the valley in here. Cool. It's cool view. Do you think this but is still special, going? Eh? Oh yeah, good point. I know you want to sleep there, but we gotta keep going. <laughs> yeah, I right, think so. Do you want me to hold your bottle? You can get a patch. An old dry man who needs <laughs> plenty of hydration. <laughs> oh, you fellas, you young fellas, wait for us old people! <laughs> hey, speak for yourself. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> Why not? I told you That's guys. queer, eh? <laughs> a bit eerie. Yeah. Wow, I mean, and then you just, like, scale away. Eh? <coughs> so you've been to LA before? No, this is, I don't know whether you guys realise, but this is actually my first trip to LA. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Ever? Wow. Yeah, what's your experience? I have just hit the ground running. Yeah. I mean, I was really... It was lucky that it was an opportunity that we could do that, yeah. that I could come here and actually just be in the industry from straight away, yeah. straight away from arriving. Yeah, yeah. going to and, like, premieres and after parties. I mean, it took, that was two years of preparation for, for that short. what we were doing with our relationship with Hunt for the Wilder People yeah. and working with Carthew and brokering the deal with my boss to support it. What was your role in Carthew? It was pretty small. Yeah. I organised a couple of parties, but I also helped broker the deal between my boss and um, uh, James Wallace, who's the executive producer on the film. And, uh, and that film. So, so it, ha it wouldn't have happened without? Well, well, it probably would have happened, but I just was a part of that process, which is yeah. which is cool. Uh, unbelievable. Look at I this. I think that's one of the things I've learned. It's a marathon, not a sprint, you know? You yeah. yeah. Put your time in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's easy to put so much pressure on yourself. And then to come here and actually just with material to shoot and the ability to do it. Yeah. Right. I mean, not waiting for anyone else. Our philosophy was is, you know, to cut to the edge of what's possible yeah. with zero money yeah. <laughs> and I'm really amazed at what we've achieved. We actually have three versions of the film which we're taking back to New Zealand and this is going to be a groundbreaking yeah. film because we we, so sh we shot entirely on 5D as a standard sort of cinema camera if you like, digital cinema camera and then we <laughs> <laughs> and we shot Alternative takes 
all on um, Android on Samsung S7, Galaxy S7. Seriously? Wow. So you got two different worlds you can jump in. Yeah. Yeah. So and but also two different techniques. So I so I had a DOP that was working with the 5D and also working with the camera, but and we were communicating together about how to how to achieve the storytelling. So Mm -hmm. I directed the films. I controlled most of the um, phone shots. And at the same time we got 360 takes of wow. everything. So we actually have a 360 version of the whole film. Oh wow. That's incredible. Would you, would you intercut them or would you release them as separate takes on the same thing? Like no questions? idea. It's different personalities, <laughs> right? I don't know. So what we do now is we're going to take that footage. We'll I, I probably initially I'll do um, individual cuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But in a month's time, we're actually sitting down with filmmakers in New Zealand to review all the footage so yeah. right. and to and to go and and to have a forum about these are the pitfalls, these were the pluses, these were the minuses. This was what we had to work for. This was a scenario, yeah. and um, these were the limitations, and this was what was achieved on this budget. So, is this worth funding yeah. for the next level? Because I don't like I mentioned before, nobody's making fictional work with these things, and it's starting yeah. to happen. But the next twelve months are going to be they're going to be the the, the change of filmmaking, yeah. and and if we're able to embrace this kind of technology with with fictional storytelling mm. and with alternative forms of communication, then. Um, the mass out here, you know, this whole, this whole place, will they'll they'll all respond to it, and they'll all engage with it. Yeah. One last thing before we wrap this up. How much time? We've got a couple of minutes. Okay. All right. Where's the very center of this place? Right here. It would be right here, but these two guys are there. <laughs> hey, come and make a circle, guys, so we can see everybody. Yeah, sorry, they are just finished. Oh, it's all good, guys. Don't be sorry. We can share, oh, we no, can please, share. Mommy, move. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> so, we'll lay this down okay. here. So, if you want, oh, I'm standing right in the shadow of this. Do you think that? Oh, yeah, maybe. if you come jump over this side. Isn't that going to shadow? No, nah, okay. you'll be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. Otherwise, you, you, so, you appear as a silhouette. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but now you're a silhouette. That's yeah, fine. <laughs> Okay, did you follow that across, across? Hopefully. If you're watching this, then this is the first Hollywood conch experience. Number one. Number one. <laughs> and these guys have all been a part of it. My name is Gray Burton. I'm Rebecca McFadzian. I'm Genevieve Moore. I'm Ari Boylan. I'm Yoshi Nurajumi. I'm Laura Beverly. And this has been wonderful and amazing, and I hope you enjoyed it, and we love you! Woo! We'll see you at the next, we'll see you next year in the next conch experience! Yes! Yes! Woo! Are we Woo! Drone, drone footage as well? Oh yeah! And um... We have, we have a guest appearance We made drone. it to Hollywood! We <laughs> made it to Hollywood! Can you see the smoke? It's out, it's out there somewhere. Don't worry, we'll fix that in post. <laughs> Make it look pretty.